Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to the workshop. Yes, it's another DeLorean video, however, we're not going to be featuring the DeLorean today. Today, we're building the Plutonium box. So let's get building. Right, so here we are. Um, we have issue 127, which is the lid of the Plutonium box. Um, we've got a couple of little catches, a handle, and we've got some MP screws. And then for 128, we've got the, the base of the plutonium box. We've got some MP screws, OP screws, and we've got these handles and catches. And we've got the couple of hinges as well. So I'm going to start off with 127. And what we're going to be doing is getting our handle. We're going to place that just on top there where you've got those four screw holes and then we're going to get our little metal catch and that's just going to sit over the top of that line everything up like so and then we're going to use the MP screws to secure that in place now as they're MP screws, as you can probably guess, this box is plastic. Um, a little bit disappointing that it's not metal, but I'm sure we would have had to pay a lot more for that. So that's looking just like that. We're now going to be putting on the catches, and they're going to go just here. Now, they do have this sort of L shape to them, and we do want them to be that way up so the L shape comes away from the box. Now, there are three holes there, but there are there is no locating lug or anything on the back of that, and we're only using two screws to hold this in place. And these are tiny screws, but they do work with a pH zero bit. So there we go, that is the lid of the plutonium box. And that is all there is to do for 127. So we're now going to move on to 128. And the first thing we're doing for 128 is we're putting the side handles on. So just the same as we did with the first one. I'm just going to place that bit of metal over the top of that. that. And then we're using for the MP screws to secure that in place. And then we we'll do the same on the other side. That was one side then. And we'll do the exact same thing on this side. Let's get the handle in like that. Bit of metal over the top. And again, four MP screws. And that's the two handles on. Now I'm going to flip it around to the front side, and we've got the catches. Which are just going to be placed there and there. And we're using the OP screws for this. Again, there's um, no locating tab. So it's just a case of line the holes up and screw them in. Just tighten those up. That's looking just like that. And that is all there is to do in 128 and 127. So that's sort of how the box will go. Now I am going to finish the box off 
with issue 129. Right, so issue 129, we have these items, and they're going to obviously complete the plutonium box. First one we're going to be doing is getting this foam pad. It's got an adhesive bottom. And we're just going to place that into the bottom of the box, like so. Next, we're going to grab this piece. We're going to grab the two straps. And they're going to go either side like that. And we're going to secure those in place with an IP screw. And that's the second one going in just there. Next, we need this piece. Now, we've got one with a bolt, and we've got one straight edge here. Same on this side. And we want to match those two up. Just like that. And then we're going to just flip those over. And we're going to use an IP screw to secure that in place as well. So you end up with something that looks like that. And we need to take our lid. And it is shaped. So that one is going to go just like that. And we're using the AP screws to secure that in place. Just like so. We're now going to be placing that one in there, like so. And then we've got the AP screws again to go in there. Now, I should point out that the next issue is all the little fuel rods. However, I'm only going to show you this far today because I do have the mods coming from Mike Lane to make this plutonium box look a lot better. But they haven't arrived yet. So I think I'd still do the video and show you how this goes together. And then I'll do a separate video with the Mike Lane mods. Right, so that's in there. And the final thing we need to do, after folding these straps in, is we need to put the hinge in place. And that's just going to sit like so. And we're going to use the PP screws for that. I might need to change to a, a smaller bit. I did use a pH 1 bit for the AP screws. So go back to my pH 0 bit. I'll just get that box lined up. Get the hinge lined up. I get one in. And we get another one in there. I'll keep the hinge together whilst we do the rest of the hinge, rest of the screws. Right, so that's those eight screws in there now, and that is what the plutonium box now looks like. We've got the straps holding that in place, and that clicks shut, just like that. 
is looking absolutely brilliant. And as I said, we do have the rods to go in there next time. But hopefully by then I will have the modifications by Mike Lane. And I will show you that video as well. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. So, we now have a plutonium box. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it's fairly well detailed. However, as I said, I've got the Mike Lane mod coming, which will add a next level detail to this, which Mike Lane always does. He never fails to impress. If you want to see that video or anything else that goes on in the workshop, please do remember to hit the subscribe button and ding that bell, and then you'll be notified when I release a new video. If you do want to get the DeLorean all the way from pack one, there are links in the description, so please check that out. And if you're enjoying the videos, why not leave a comment? Let me know what you like and how I'm doing. Till the next time, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.